Engineers have this very cool way to describe a machine that works at 100% efficiency. They talk about it as being frictionless, which means that it runs in an idealized manner without the inherent burden of mechanical friction that slows down its components. But friction is not just a concept that applies to mechanical devices. Take, for example, an incandescent bulb in which only 20% of the energy used by even the most efficient bulbs is converted into light. The rest simply dissipates as useless heat. Now compare that to the new generation of LED bulbs where over 90% of the energy is converted to light. That may not be the way that we're accustomed to thinking of friction, but it's a fundamental shift that's driving a new way of doing business. In short, we're doing more with less. And it's no different in the case of the cloud, which removes much of the friction of storing and managing data by making the infrastructure needed to handle data a pure commodity. Now, notice by the way, I didn't say that data was the commodity. Data is actually highly individualized and specific to the way it's used. But here's where it gets really interesting. You've probably heard the saying, data is the new oil. Although I'd argue that oil, unlike data, is a pure commodity. The similarity is in how data fuels a new economy driven by AI. AI can't exist without the data. It would be like having fleets of internal combustion engines without enough oil refineries to power them. The friction in today's businesses is due to the fact that we're still starving for not enough data to power AI. And that's where a new generation of storage technologies is going to step in and radically change the way in which we power our organizations and our world and also reduce the friction that's been such a part of the engines that drove the last economy.